Hey guys. So, lately, I've been recording a lot of Final Fantasy and not enough Mega Man yet for this. For this is also Mega Man's 20 or 30 year anniversary. Just the year 20XX and something. Dr. Wily seemingly vanished, permitting the world to focus once more on true progress. However... Okay. Mega Man, fearing this peace would not last, recruited eight willing robot masters, and began training them to combat any force of evil, should it dare arise. To aid Mega Man's coaching, Dr. Light created a new robot. Justice Man. Justice Man possesses abilities and weaponry similar to Mega Man's. And he would also share Mega Man's strong sense of justice. One fateful day, a group of robots began rallying against their creators. You must forgive any initial show of force. I had wished for a peaceful evacuation of human personnel. But some of my comrades were simply too... zealous. None were injured, and it will remain that way if... you remain off of our premises. Our purpose will be made clear to you soon enough. News of the rebellion spread rapidly throughout the world, causing panic. However, Mega Man saw this as an opportunity to test his team, the Rock Force. He sent the Rock Force out to subdue the rebellious robots. None of the team returned. Communications down, Mega Man knew he had to act. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll save my friends and bring those rebels to justice. Okay, welcome folks to a new, um, well, this isn't a new Mega Man fan game. It's been out for a couple of years, but I finally got Joy to keep working, and we are ready to play Mega Man Rock Force. It is a... Like Mega Man Unlimited, it is a really well-done uh, Mega Man fan game. Um, let me get into the difficulty settings real quick, because... Okay. Um... Infinite lives, why not? Um, yeah, you can play around with quite a few difficulty options here. Um, you can do it like... You can even manipulate the spike damage so it doesn't kill you in one hit. Like here, it only takes off a quarter health. Um, Mega Man 1's spike physics, which basically it kills you even... It ignores your invincibility frames. We'll do it on Mega Man 2, since it's pretty much the classic way of dealing with it. You can set how many checkpoints per level. We'll put four. I mean, I don't want to make it two. Four checkpoints, infinite lives. Otherwise, I don't want to make it too ridiculously easy, but not hair-pullingly difficult, either. It's The difficulty's pretty flexible in this game. What are extra options? Healing effect... Oh, I see. Okay. Let's get started. Six months before the Rebellion. Mega Man, I have troubling news. There's been an energy surge at a nearby electric plant. 
Now the robots working there have started malfunctioning. You and Justice Man must go and stop the robots. I hope nobody's already been injured. Mega Man, I'll search the other entrance for human workers. Good luck, brother. Okay, so we got our intro stage here. Usually pretty basic. I mean... You probably don't have to walk you too, through too many of the nuances of, of Mega Man, do I, folks? No, of course I don't. So I can go shopping for items. So we have enough bolts. Yes, me. So for this part, we just have to shoot those little, uh, window things. These things right here, your shots reflect off them. So we got sort of a bit of a puzzle element here. In that case, you reflect a shot off the Met Helmet. Okay. Hello again. All the workers seem to have evacuated safely. Also, all hostile robots have been neutralized. Oh, good. Oh. You missed one. Hey there. Okay, so once again we utilize these reflecting panels. His patterns are pretty easy to work out. There we go. Pretty easy. Alright. I'm completely baffled, Mega Man. Functionally, he is completely operational. However, the shock altered his mental matrix rather strangely. Tests reveal no change in his behavior, but still... I can't be certain. Try to keep an eye on him and report anything unusual. I will. Okay, present day. All right, now we have our uh, our eight robot masters here. We got Crip Man, Pulse Man, Virus Man, Fuse Man, Photon Man, Shock Man, Circuit Man, and Charade Man. Shock Man, we also recall we also fought him in the intro level. A few extra options. Shop, Menu, and Team. Um. Uh, which we have nobody yet. <laughs> That's... Okay, charade man... Oh, charade woman now. Um, your portrait kind of changes, doesn't it? Yep, totally does. 
Um, can we buy anything? Just one ups. Which, because I did take the uh, infinite life thing, we don't really need. Okay. We saw Crip Man during the intro. He seems to be the leader of these guys. Despite that, I think he's probably the best one to go after first, so let's do that. Grabby hands. More grabby hands. I think these are like the, uh, the quick man lasers. These Indiana Jones wannabes. This game's version of the up and downs. Whoa, oh jeez. Got skulls raining down on us. Do we have rush do we have rush coil? Yes, we do. And we have access to Eddie and Tango for like one of the first times we've ever seen since Mega Man 5 for the Game Boy. Do you do you operate the same as uh a little bit differently, but kinda similar. What about Eddie? Do you just give me a random item? Yeah, that's exactly what he does. Unlimited, it, it seems like it could easily pass for an official Mega Man game. Both the presentation, graphic-wise and music-wise, is amazing. I kind of like how it does that, the charged Mega Buster fades out after a couple seconds, just so it doesn't get... the sound of, of it doesn't get too monotonous. Whoa. Oh, hey, Cerberus. As it's as it's exploding. Okay, I'm gonna have to move pretty quick. At least it seems I don't think I have to worry about the up and downs here. It seemed to advertise where they're coming down at, where they're coming up from. By the little flashing lights on the bottom of the screen. Another Cerberus. The up and downs come back, but not as at the quick rate as they did in Mega Man 10. Oh no. 
got this and the vultures. Try to... Those coming from below, the vultures coming from above. Spike ball. Okay, not a major one. Alright, we're at the boss. Oh, nice little uh, soda popinski laugh there. This, uh. Okay, you. You damn Doctor Doom cosplayer! Jump too early. Okay, Dr. Doom. I think I'm kind of ready for you. Now he's trying to telefrag me. There. Now it's over this way. Oh, it's Nightman. One of the, uh, Guess one of the Rock Force members. Okay, so from him we get the Crypt Cloak. We get to go invisible. We create shock waves when we land. But it's also a bit of a utility item that's pretty useful that we'll see coming up pretty soon. Now, one thing, if we wanted to, you see, we rescued Nightman. We can actually play as him in the levels now, if we so desired. For right now, I'm just going to keep going with uh, Mega Man. And our next boss is going to be Charade Man. Um... <laughs> okay, yeah, as you can see, Charade Man is a little, uh, a little quirky. He's got these top hat nets in his level. It's neat that the one-ups give us, uh, health. Oh. Oh, yeah, the, uh, you have to watch for that.
Oh, we got some uh, familiar mini bosses junked in the that in the back there. Okay, see these invisible blocks? You can stand on them if you have the uh, Crypt Cloak activated. So that can make some platforming segments a lot easier. Uh, okay, okay, it's Charade Man, and he is mimicking Shadow Man. Albeit. Oh. And now, Quick Man? At least his movements, not his, uh, not his weapon, thankfully. Yeah, the same erratic spaz movement. getting tricky. Um, we have some uh, invisible blocks. I probably should have been using... Okay, there. that's a pit. I probably shouldn't I gotta watch that scissor guy and see uh, where he where he turns around to gauge where the platform ends. Oh! But then that enables them to just kill me, and they start me before the. Uh, for the mini boss. Yeah, I do have to kill him again. I just realized this does the thing where that Mega Man 5 did where you lose your your charge if you get hit
so far so good. Tomatoes. Trying to be like the like the boss corridor in Mega Man One, where it often does have these enemies in it. Okay. So what you got now, Charade Man? Bouncy balls. Creating clones. Ah, that was close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't remember to move over here. And there's Tornado Man. Get charade clone. We basically create like a like a copy, which we then control. We can. It's it's a little bit kind of a weird weapon. Um, the clone basically will take damage instead of me. Will be destroyed instead of you. And then you can press the button again and switch places with it. But okay, I think we've gotten a pretty nice foothold on this. I'll end it here, and next time we will continue on with Mega Man Rock Force. See you guys later. I'm playing a game.